If you're a beginner, this is the video for you because this is the ultimate look at beginner's guide. This will be a great guide for anyone if you want to learn some tips and some tricks on how to make your Blookit account as good as it can be. These are tips and tricks on packs to open, what, how you should spend your coins, what game mode you should play to get coins, and lots of other stuff. I would start out with these packs, but when you start out your Blookit account, you're not really going to have any tokens. You might only have like a 100 or 200. So we're going to show you guys... Basically, this is the number one tip you gotta come over here. Come over here to the set creator here. Make sure your account is, um, uh, if it is the student account, it will be easier to kind of get to this stuff quicker. You're gonna go to set creator and then just make a set. So you can call it like, hello. Uh, you can add an image if you want. And then, yeah, so then I think I have to move that. So then you kind of come over here. Then you add a question. Then just do like, hi. And then you just gotta add answers. And you don't even have to do these answers too. And then you just gotta make sure they're both correct. This way, you'll have a question set where everything is correct, and you can just mash them. You have to do this if you, I mean, if you really, you can also find one. If you just look up something like, every question is correct, or whatever, I didn't spell Lots of them, and you can go to mine, or I have some other people I'm part of, like, uh, you can come over here, like, why is my blue question set gone? I'm going to delete this one now, because I don't really need it. Just go to my account, King World with 13, and you can find it. But basically, just make an account so then when you go play games, it can actually be pretty easy. So you, what you want to do, there's lots of ways to get tokens, and I'll go in depth more on different ways in my video, Top 7 Ways to Get Tokens and Block It. It'll be on the end screen, so you guys can watch it when, when you're done with this one. So I'd say just go host it. Best way to do it is actually cafe host, because you can just leave it up there for like 5 minutes, just call it tap a bunch of questions and uh get like your 500 daily tokens a day uh and remember to always get your daily wheel spin every day because you can get like today i got 50 tokens it's like a couple good free tokens for literally doing nothing and also try to practice your button mashing skill like also if you're thinking about hacking to get tokens don't hack because you will get banned i've had lots of cases of people coming in my comments like hey i got banned what should i do now it's like kind of you, you just don't do hacks okay it's so much easier to just do legit and then you don't have to go and a lot of times the hacks you find aren't legit but now that you have tokens on your account what pack should you spend it on so this is gonna vary throughout the year but right now in october it is a october 23rd the time i'm recording this you want to open the spooky pack why because this will go away by the time november comes around by the time you know, once Halloween's over, maybe a week after or so, this will go away. So you got Pumpkin, Swamp Monster, Frankenstein, Vampire Uncommon, and then a lot of rares. And you have these exclusive chromas, Red Gummy Bear, Green Gummy Bear, Blue Gummy Bear. These chromas are probably might not ever come back after this. Now, I did also make a video about every chroma in Blue Kids, so that will also be on the end screen if you want to check that out. But you want to get this stuff, especially this Ghost Legendary. This is a huge flex, really good look, right? I actually have a bunch of them. And what you want to do for this pack, and this only really this pack, is save them. So, so you see for, like, the Blizzard pack, which is another seasonal pack that comes out in December, I have, like, six Santa Clauses. You want to save these legendaries so if Look at Trading ever comes out, you can just swing these. Now, this is more important because you won't be able to open this pack after, like, October or November. So you really want to get these blocks while you can. So definitely do that. First pa first pack I'd open. Now once that pack is gone, or say you already have a lot of that pack, what should you open now? If you're looking for some a cheap way to complete a pack, I'd come over here to this breakfast pack. It's the only pack in the game without a legendary. Only if it doesn't even have a lot of blocks. If so, you got the pizza and French toast with most ep epics, and they're not really that hard to get. Five percent, two percent chance. Pancakes, waffles are rares, and then all the other ones are just uncommon. So this is a very, very easy pack to complete. So I definitely suggest if you want to just like say like, oh, I actually completed this pack. If you're on your way to complete a pack, this is the easiest one. The best way to get a legendary though is definitely this medieval pack here, because it actually has the highest rarity legendary. It's tied with Santa Claus from the Blizzard pack, which isn't out right now. So, this is going to be your easiest way of getting a legendary. I've pulled, like, 20 kings in my day. So, look, it's really easy to get. You will be able to get them. Some uncommon uh, unicorn epic block. So, 
If you want to get a legendary, I'd say dump a couple hundred, maybe a thousand or two thousand coins in this pack, and you'll probably get one. Another easy legendary to get is from the aquatic pack, the baby shark, 0.5% chance. And there's lots of other books, two epics, another chance of getting a megalodon. So I think, say you definitely want to try to get this pack. But if you're asking about chromas, what pack should you do? Uh, space pack is a good idea to get him because these rotate so every day you can uh, get a new chroma. I also cover this more in my chroma video that you can check out later. And same for the safari pack, it always has a rainbow panda, but this is a very rare chroma to get. It's a 0.02% chance, while space is only 0.05. But the easiest technical chroma to get is the ice monster pack has the ice slime for 0.08. Now, the reason I didn't say this earlier is because it's a 25 coins, and ice slime is not as sought after, and like, I don't know, I feel like vibes, space pack is better. Now I'm going to cover over this weekly shop here. I'm not a big guy that talks about weekly shop and always buys stuff from the weekly shop. Like, I didn't buy any of this. And as a beginner... You're going to have none of these titles or banners. And for titles, I just just stick with newbie. Newbie is okay. If you have newbie, it is fine. I'm, I have a couple titles. And I should only get titles when you have enough. Just so you can kind of have like, oh, I have this cool title. Because they don't do anything other than just on your home screen. And no one else can even view your home screen except for you. So definitely don't spend coins on these things. Now, one good thing you could do is buy these parts, especially these kind of like, uh, little, so you can make like an alien costume guy with alien costume head, alien costume body, and a few of these things are kind of cool too, maybe, if you not, if you don't have as much coins and you want to dump, I still say dump all your coins into the spooky pack over these, my hair's looking weird. But if you have tokens left over, or you've already picked, completed the spooky pack, or you just really don't want to try to grinding for the legendary or chroma, definitely buy a few of these parts because they're kind of cool. Caramel apple is only like 150 to 200 uh, coins, and this werewolf plushie is 500. But look at that guy. Tell me you don't want him. Uh, what do you do with these though? Pretty simple. You come over here and you can customize your block with it. So I'll pull, I'll just take this Mad Hatter. This is my main block that I use. So you can scroll down here. This is kind of what the uh, alien one would look like. I'll turn the glasses off. Let me just find the, uh, where's the hat? Yeah. Scroll down here. This is kind of what the alien costume guy looks like. And here's a few of the items you could get. What they kind of look like. You know, you got the caramel apple, pumpkin head. Right, like, caramel apple's kind of sick. Pum uh, werewolf plushie really cool, you know. Pumpkin. Pumpkin's always a W. Uh, so I definitely suggest getting those if you have the tokens for them. And also with that, you gotta complete the class pass. Class pass, you will just kind of complete it without knowing. This is basically just whenever you earn tokens, you also earn XP. And you can use this XP to get stuff from this class pass. I'm just gonna scroll past. Some of this stuff is cool, but with Look at Season 6 probably gonna be coming out pretty soon, you probably wanna start grinding these because A, there's gonna probably be a new pack with the release of Season 6. Not exactly from the beginning, but close enough. And they're gonna get rid of the class pass. You can actually already kinda go in here, I think. I don't know how this works exactly, but you can actually see all of the class pass stuff is in the game already, which means they're definitely going to add it. You have to go here to, like, I don't know how you do it exactly, but basically the class pass is in the files of Look It right now. So, and it's already all revealed. You can check one of my class pass videos I think I have on that. Um, it was like, this Blooker Leak is insane, you can go find that on my channel. But yeah, you definitely want to complete these, and especially these earlier items, like one 500 token is going to get you about 20 of these items. You can get some cool outfits, like referee outfit, you can get some, a frog costume, you know. And they just added another thing of customizabil customizability. So that's kind of your Blooker's Beginners Guide. Couple things to do, what packs to open, what you should do with Weekly Shop, and, oh, I forgot to cover banners too. Banners? Oh, kind of just like titles, except they're a little bit better. Banners, if you want to get a banner, get a good one. And you can kind of just ride with it. You don't really need to have all the banners. Like, I only have like seven, and I'm a look at sweat. So, it's like, whatever. But, now that I finished that. Now, this is the end of the video. You can check out my Chroma video, how to get every Chroma I'm looking. And my token video down there. 
Uh, and if you subscribe, I think right now we just hit 1,100 1, subscribers. So thank you guys so much for that. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Slate out. Why are you still here? Why are you still here? Please like the video.